Is that right? But yeah, you're in pain most of the time. But if you take care of your body, um, it, it tends to, you know, relieve itself. But most of the time, because you're stretching a lot, you know, you're continuously stretching your body. And that, and that actually puts you in pain. Put you in pain. Do you use a stretching machine or something like that? Nature? No, we, um, we stretch ourselves and, um, you know, we keep dehydrated so you don't get dehydrated. So it's, it's important to always keep your body hydrated. Drink lots of water, Gatorade, eat right. That's the key also. Okay. Um, your body, it, it, it takes up a lot of um, uh, um, nutritious energy and True. stuff like that. So, you know, you always have to replenish with the vegetables, the fruit, you know, always keeping it with um, medicines and things like that. So what I do with my company, even though they, they dance a lot, I tell them to go get massage. Sure. Which can be quite expensive. So it, can, it can be, but we have some some, some friends. Okay. That we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, for a young person that's interested in dancing, um, because you said you started at six, and what was your motivation at six years old? My motivation was, well, I started. My first of all, my parents are not from America. They're from okay. Curacao, which is on the coast of Venezuela. Okay. And uh, my father was a sports guy, you know, soccer, and football, and things like that. So he tried, he, he got me into sports, but at a young age, I was like, I wanted more. I wanted more. I wanted to do more. So I remember um, at my church, there was a company that came in, and they did a show called Toy Maker's Dream, which is no longer running. And I remember that night, I saw it, and I was like, this is what I want to do, you know? So my mom plugged me into some classes, and it was great because, you know, you get the high energy, and then you get the acting with it, and the feeling that you got to throw in. So I, I got hooked, and it was been what I've been doing ever since, you know. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to be doing it until the day I die. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, 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 that's a good thing. I'm yeah. meeting a lot of people today that, you know, these days, it's really on a journey. I think that uh, folks have had a chance to sit back and say, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? Right? And they're making these choices, you know. I was with a doctor yesterday that has a cure for sickle cell, not a cure, but a, some kind of medicine that help out with civil cell mm -hmm. and uh, his journey is herbs, you know, more herbal instead of chemical yeah, form yeah. things of that nature, yeah. you know. So now, if a young person is interested in dancing and they come to the studio, what is the first program you guys do? The first program, if a student comes here and they've never danced before, of course they have to start with classes. So we put them on a basis, um, we try them out for, maybe they'll take three classes a week. They'll take a ballet. Ballet is the basis to everything, so you have to have ballet. Oh, okay. Ballet, they'll take a modern class, and then we'll give them like a fun class, like a hip hop, oh, or if okay. they want to take a tap, something like that. Um, and then we have kids that come in that are child prodigies, kind of like they, they, they know how to dance, they're good. So we have something called the Junior Company, which is from ages 12 to 18. And they get to perform with the company, and they also get to go out and perform for other people like nursing homes. And other schools, yeah, sure. so other you know other teams could see what their ages are doing. You know? uh, sure, sure. So these kids are they're good, they're really good, and they have a promising career in dance. But is it all right? Can you just can one just say I want to dance, or is it like a calling? You know, mm -hmm. some people can do things better than right. Practice. Right. Is I I once <coughs> talked to a, a, a dancer. One of I would call her name. She's a dance with uh, an African ensemble. And she said, there's a thing called mechanical dance. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there's a, a real dance. Is, right. is, there, is, right. that a, is that two phrases? Is it a mechanical yeah, and real? Yeah, and then there's a real dancer. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between the mechanical and the real? Mechanical is the dancer that you have to teach what to do. Okay, he don't, that now, person don't feel it. There's no feeling. They just dance. And they just do it. Now a dancer is a person that can get up without you teaching them anything and can dance from the heart. Yes. And when they dance, you move. You move to happiness, you move to sure. tears, you move to joy. And these are the things that even when I studied with Haley, they taught us, you know, it comes from inside. So can a mechanical dancer make it in life? Can he or she, can they expire to making this a living for themselves? Mm, they wouldn't get far. They would not get far because Think about it. I mean, if I if I go to Broadway and I want to go see Lion King, and there's a dancer up there just moving, and I'm not feeling anything, 
They're not going to make any money because nobody's going to see the show. Oh, so in other words, the mechanical dancer uh, don't make the audience feel. Mechanical dancers don't even get jobs. Okay. Because the director's not going to let them into their show. So if I if I'm doing an audi audition, so you can you can spot them. You can spot them like that. You can spot. Them. So there's no way like a guy a, a a girl look at a script and just move towards that script. You would know that they're mechanical dancer. Right. And it's just like acting. You know, if you give someone a script and they come in and they're and you say okay, say the lines and they're just like blah, 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 you know what I'm saying. And then you have somebody else like an Angela Bassett come in and she's you know she's her whole whole heart is going into it. You could tell who's who's gonna get the part. Of course, you would give it to Angela Bassett, you know. So it's it's the same thing in dance. Wow. Yeah, it's the same thing. Even um, I viewed Michael Jackson's movie. This is it. Oh, you did see yeah, it. Yeah, I did see it, and and he had an audition for dancers, and I think it was like eight thousand dancers came out. But there was the mechanical, and then there was the ones that dance from their heart, and when they moved, you felt the power coming out of them. Wow. So there's a difference. There's always a difference. I tell you, I'm not really really let go, of Michael. I, I don't <laughs> think he's dead. I know. <laughs>
The studio is called Work of Art Studios. We're at 502 Mettler's Lane, Piscataway, New Jersey. The number here is 732-463-1285. If you would like to take classes, we start from ages three, and we go up to 100. If you just want to move, come and dance for God. Um, we're also having a Christmas production called Spellbound in New Brunswick. If you need tickets for that, just give us a call, the same number, 732-463-1285. And this production is the Nativity Story, and it's told through the Gospel of Luke in the Bible. So if you would like to come in and, and attend that and see that, please give us a call. Tickets are going very fast. We have four showings with it. So please give us a call if you need anything. Okay, the next segment of this right here show will be um, the dancers and uh, the movement, I guess. And hopefully they can come on a little show or whatever. We'll tip it and show if they can. So we, we're going to upload this to YouTube and send it over to uh, Twitter. And